Good morning, guys. We're ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 88. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try alphabetizing the following words, okay? So remember, when we put things in ABC order or alphabetize them, we look at what we call our guide letter, which is that first letter first. So let's look. So I've got, let's sound them out first. I've got V-E-S-T. Vest, very good. Oh, I've got B-L-E, so T-A-B-L-E. Table. Bat, f sh, fish, very good, inch, inch, so vest, table, bat, fish, and inch. So remember, we think about what our alphabet starts with. So do we have any words that start with the letter A? No, so what would come next? B, do we have any words that start with B? Yes, we have the word bat. So bat would come first when we a B put these words in ABC order. Okay, what about C? No, D, E, F, yes, we have fish. So, so far we have bat and fish. How about G, H, I, yes, we have inch. Then J, K, L, M, N, O, T, Q, R, S, T. Yes, we have table, and then, of course, V comes after, so then it would be vest. So if we put these in ABC order, it would be bat, fish, inch, table, and vest, because it would be B, F, I, T, and then V would be the, the last letter, um, the letter closest to the end of the alphabet, those words. All right. So here are our letter cards. So are you ready? We're just going to quickly name them. We have digraph TH, digraph NG, digraph EE, -E, combination ER, trigraph IGH, what's this one? Vowel Y, A consonant E, final syllable T L E. What about this one? Vowel digraph A Y, final syllable P L E, U consonant E, E consonant E, final syllable D L E. Here's the one we added a couple days ago. Digraph E A, O consonant E, combination O R, combination I R, combination A R. Digraph A I, I consonant E, final syllable G L E, combination Q U. Then down here we have final syllable B L E, digraph C H Y Q V, and then final syllable F L E. Very good. All right, so let's look at our cards. We're going to start right up here. And so we have sheep, E, digraph E, E, cheese, ch, digraph C, H, rain, A, digraph A, I, staple, pull, final syllable, P, L, E, bugle, ghoul, final syllable, G, L, E, E. Hey, A, digraph A Y, yarn, Y, Y, horse, or combination O R. Then we have bird, er, combination I R, butter, er, combination E R. Feather, digraph TH, very good. Here's one of our new ones. Steak, A, digraph EA, very good. Cube, U, U consonant E, another new one. Thread, E, digraph EA. Thimble, digraph TH. Dime, I, I consonant E. Shark, sh, digraph sh, leaf, e, 
digraph EA. Light I. Trigraph IGH. Hose O. O consonant E. Candle dual. Final syllable D L E. Box X. X. Bubble bull. Final syllable B L E. Hook. Uh. Digraph O O. Cry I. Vowel Y. Star R. Combination A R. Tooth O. Digraph O O. Elephant E. E. Quilt Qu. Combination Q U. And candy E. Vowel Y. All right, so we're going to look at this word, okay? What do you see at the end of this word? That's right. It's got suffix ing. So we usually box off suffix ing, but first, let's try to divide this word into syllables. Are you ready? So look, if I divide this up into syllables and said vowel, consonant, vowel, I would say and mark my vowels, then over here my vowel would be long, I would say sl eyed and over here my vowel would be short, d -e -n. Okay, so we need know that sliding is a, a word with a root word, okay? So let's think about that. If I have sliding, I have slide and then we add the ing, slide -ing. okay? We have a special name for words like sliding. A root word with the suffix added is called a derivative. So if we have ing added to, we call it a derivative. So what is the suffix in this word? That's right, ing. Then if this is the, the suffix is ing, what is the root word? Think about what I just said, slide-ing. That's right, slide. Think of the word slide though, sl I'd. Hmm. If I look at these four letters, that would technically be sl -id, slid. So what's missing from that word? I need that I to be long, so what's missing? The sneaky E at the end. So let's see if you guys can notice this. So this word is ice. If I want to add the Y at the end, then I say icy over here, what's missing? The E, the sneaky E has been dropped. Look here, bake. And then I wanna add the suffix ed, so baked. What's missing? Well, if I put these two together, I would have two E's, I only have one E. How about serving? And then look over here. The E, the E is missing. So all of these root words add an E, okay? And all of these suffixes are called vowel suffixes because they begin with a vowel. Look, Y by itself is just a vowel. ED begins with a vowel, it begins with E. ING begins with a vowel, it's a vowel suffix. It starts with an I. So in all of these, when we add that vowel suffix, the vowel at the end of the word bef the before actually gets dropped, okay? So watch, look at this. So let's add these together and see what happens. Look, I've got careless and it turns into careless. Did I drop anything in that word? No, I didn't drop anything because look, careless begins with an L, okay? So it begins with an L and that's a consonant. So I didn't have to drop anything. Look, safely. Li is a consonant suffix. It begins with an L, so I can add it no matter if there's a vowel at the end or not. So let's look back. If it ends in a vowel and it's a vowel suffix, look, I marked it off twice, so I'm going to drop that vowel. If it ends in a vowel and I add a suffix that has a consonant, I don't mark this box because it doesn't have a consonant in it. So we don't mark the second box because it, it has a consonant in it. So we don't have to drop anything. All right, so 
I know this is kind of tricky, so we're going to kind of explain it. So we have two new spelling rules to help you remember how to do this, okay? So when you're adding a consonant suffix, to spell a word with a consonant suffix, just add the suffix to the root of the word. Look, Kate, S, cakes, redness, redness, careful, careful, closely, closely. All you do is add that suffix at the end if it's a consonant suffix. We're going to look right up here at the top if we're adding a vowel suffix. This is something we're going to talk about later on. It says when a word ends with the silent E, drop the E before adding the suffix. So look, make has that silent E. So I drop the E, add the I and G, and it turns into making. Rule has a silent E. Drop the E and turns into ruler. Okay? So consonant suffix, just add it together. Vowel suffix, if it's got that silent E, you drop the silent E and then add the suffix, okay? We're going to practice that too, okay? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pull out our activity sheet so we can practice doing that, okay? All right, you guys did an awesome job. All right, good morning, guys. Our activity sheet is going to look a little bit different today because we are going to be practicing dropping the, remember sometimes we drop that silent E when we add the ING. So what we're gonna do is in this first part, we're gonna look and says, check the words that end in silent E. So let's try the first word. Well, it's got an E at the end of it, but let's make sure it's that silent E. G aim game, that's right. So I'm gonna check the G-A-M-E. What about the next one? You guys know this is one of our sight word, line, line. So we're gonna check that one. How about school? Does it have a silent E? No. Plan? No. How about smile? Smile, yes. So let's go ahead and check that one. Play? No. How about this one? I've got A consonant E, so long A, sneaky E, so wade. Wade. So yes, so I'm going to mark that one. How about this one? If I took the E off, it would be the word can, but it's not. It's got that sneaky E, so it's going to be cane, cane. And this one, b, oh, that sneaky E, and tag. So we have lots of words that have that sneaky E. We have game, smile, wade, bone, line, and cane. And then over here, we're supposed to check the vowel suffixes. Remember, that's one that begins with a vowel. So ing, is that a vowel suffix? Yes, because it been, begins with that i. So I'm going to check that one. Le, is that a vowel suffix? No, it begins with l and that's a consonant. Ed? Yes, because it starts with that e. S? No. How about er? Yes, it starts with e, so I need to mark it. How about ness? No, it starts with n. Y? Yes, remember, Y can be a vowel. How about, and remember when it's used as a suffix, it's always kind of comes up as a vowel. How about ES? S, yes. Full? No, it starts with F. And then less? No, it starts with L. So what we're going to do is just we're going to go through and we're going to check the boxes just like we did up here, okay? So if I get two checks, that means I'm going to drop the E before adding the vowel, okay? So ride, ride, is that a sneaky E word? Yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. Ing, does that start with a vowel? Yes, so look, I have two check marks, so that means when I write it down, I'm gonna write R-I-D, I'm gonna drop the E and then write I-N-G, okay? Let's try another one, care. Does care end in that sneaky E? Yes. But then what are we adding to it? Less. Does that start with a vowel? No. So I don't have two check marks, so I'm just going to write them together. So care less. I don't have to drop anything. All right, let's look at our next one. Bake. Does it have a sneaky E at the end? Yes, so I need to mark it. And then the ED, ed. Does it start with a vowel? Yes. So look, I've got two check marks, so I've got to drop that E. And so I'd write B-A-K-E-D. Okay? So B-A-K-E-D. 
bait. How about good? Does it have a sneaky E? No. And then nest. Does it start with the constant or a vowel? No. So we would just put it together with good nest. Okay, so it takes two check marks for us to be able to drop that E, okay? Because we don't want those two vowels together. All right, let's go ahead and try some on the back. Are you ready? So smile, does it end in a sneaky E? Yes, so go ahead and mark it. And then ED, suffix ED, does it start with a vowel? Yes, so I have two check marks. So I want to drop one of those E's because otherwise look what's going to happen. I'm going to write smile and then I'm going to have that double E in there. That doesn't look right. So I need to drop the, the first E off of smile and then just add the ED, okay? Let's try the next one. Play. Does it end in a sneaky E? No, but remember ED is a vowel, starts with a vowel. So, but I only have one check mark. So I'm going to, whoops. I'm gonna write play and just add the ED. I don't have to drop anything because it didn't have that E at the end. What about the next word? Ike. Hike. Does it have a sneaky E? Yes. So I've got to mark it. And then I'm adding ing. Ing starts with an I, which is a vowel. So I've got to mark it. Uh-oh, I've got one, two check marks. So that means I've got to drop that sneaky E when I try to write it. So I'd write H-I-K. My sneaky E is gone. Then I would add I-N-G. Okay. What about the next one? Serve, serve. Does it have a sneaky E? It sure does, so I need to mark it. And then I and G, we already said, I know when I add I and G, I've got to check that box because it starts with an I. So since I have both boxes checked, I've got to cross off that E. So I would just write the S, E, R, V. No E because I've got both boxes checked and then add that I and G. Let's try the next one. Care, does it end in an E? Yes, so let's go ahead and mark it. But look, full, full F is a consonant, so I can't mark that box. And since I only marked one, I can just add them together. So I could write care, C-A-R-E, like it normally is, and then full F-U-L. All right, look at this next one. Shh. Shine, shine, does it end in an E? Yeah, sneaky E, so go ahead and mark it. And then Y, remember Y when it's at the end of words acts like a vowel, so I need to go ahead and mark it. So now look, I've already got both of them marked, so what do I need to do? Drop the E, that's right. So I'm gonna write S-H-I-N, no E, because I dropped it, and then add the I, the Y, for shiny, shiny. Good job. All right, I know this is a little bit confusing, but we're gonna keep practicing that as we go along for the rest of the year, okay? At the bottom of the page, you have a couple words that you can try to decode. And then besides that, you are all finished. You guys did an awesome job, thank you.